519 Sports Online is proud to present the Sutherland Cup Championship Series in partnership with No Frills and the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League. Drop by your local No Frills location for freshness guaranteed and prices that won't be beat. Also check out nofrills.ca for the latest flyers and deals being offered. The biggest no, game of the season. Go! Lisbon, no, a chance go! to clinch their first no, Sutherland Cup go! since 2018. No, it can happen tonight on home ice no, in front of what will be a packed Steve no, Kerr. Happy Mother's Day to my mom and all the moms out there. Thanks for what you do for our hockey players, every hockey player. It's not possible without you guys, so happy Mother's Day. And uh, yeah, go Sykes. Good evening, everybody. Welcome inside the Steve Kerr. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Game five of the Sutherland Cup Finals between the Listowel Cyclones and St. Mary's Lincolns. A very special group of moms could be very happy at the end of tonight. The Panamamas are ready to go. The Listowel Cyclones can clinch it on home ice tonight. A couple of roster changes for the Sykes. 1-7, Wiley Burkett. Back in the lineup for Listowel. Wyatt Kerr also draws into game five for the Sykes on the back end. Taking on a St. Mary's team who looks to take this series back on home ice for game six tomorrow. Hayden Barch in the lineup for St. Mary's on the back end tonight. It's game five of the finals, and it's coming up next on 519 Sports. Chase McQueen Spence to the point. Livermore lets one fly. That one turned aside by Grimes. Another one on Grimes. Tipped on goal, he got that one too, and it'll be cleared down the ice. Around to the far boards, it'll be played up for the Cyclones, maybe a jump, two on O, oh. Burkett across, oh, Brandon Abbott! Big time for the Lincoln Netminder, he keeps us scoreless early on. Massive save. Another turnover, out front, score! And that is how we start game five at the Kerr. Burkett inserts himself back in this series with the icebreaker in game five. Sykes go up one nothing. He'll fire it back to Scott who thought about it. Urig will take it near side. Urig, far side. Burkett one-timer! Brandon Abbott again, and he keeps it a one-score game as he stretches crease. Wide, and he hangs out for a face-off with 7.04 to go on the first. He'll knife that puck down the ice. It's not going to have enough for icing. As Cornfield picks it up. Point. Here's Kerr, a shot. He scores! Wyatt Kerr at the Kerr. 2 nothing. Listowel. Talk about an unlikely candidate. Kerr draws back in the lineup for game five. And he finds the back of the net. Listowel has a 2 nothing lead. O'Donnell turns it over. Out front, McRobbie sent it just wide. Another costly almost turnover for the Lincolns in their own zone. Now Barnes can't get it out. Here goes Dietz and fires Abbott the save and he covers. Stretch pass hits Collins one on one. Collins and Moore works to the outside. Luck out. There's Benson Moore again on the physical side of things as he sends Collins to the ice. Lincoln will settle it down. McQueen Spence up three on two into the zone. McQueen Spence high slot works in a shot right on. Grimes has it and covers. And here we go out front of the list of goal as pushing and shoving after the whistle. Linesman will step in and settle things down as Cohen Bidgood getting tied up down low with Harrison Muhlenstein. McQueen Spence works it across. They're set up. Cornfield near side. Tap back. High slot. There's a shot. McQueen Spence gets it right back. McQueen Spence walks it. Shot. Score! 
Chase McQueen Spence was due, and the Lincolns on the power play cut the lead in half. It's a 2 1 hockey game here in the second period. Face off back to the point. Renault shot coming through. Abbott through traffic is down. And that's going to create a mosh pit out front of Brandon Abbott as he finds that loose puck out front and will cover. And the linesman will pull bodies away from the Lincoln crease. He'll hit Benson Mori, and that shot gloved aside by Grimes. That's going to squirt free up top, and Grimes will come. And here we go after the whistle. Benson Moore going after Vortman, and that's going to call a penalty on the Cyclones after the whistle, and St. Mary's goes right back to the power play with 4.38 to go, down one. Face off one back, Cornfield locks it. Chase McQueen, Spence scored earlier on the power play. Cornfield tees it up, score! Another power play goal for St. Mary's, and we are tied at two as Cornfield let it fly from the point. It finds the twine, and we got a brand new hockey game here in Listowel, courtesy of Josh Cornfield. Played around, Muhlenstein chips it out, picked up McNeven with speed on the far boards. McNeven drags, fires off the post. Cam McNeven rings iron. We stay tied. Here's another one through. Loose puck laying out front. Great effort. Livermore on the back end. Another one toward the goal. Abbott steers it to the corner. Tight angle shot never got through. Lincolns get set back up. Two power play markers in the period. Weir thought about it. He'll fend off back to the point. Cornfield missed it. Ball's over. Here goes Yurig shorthanded. Yurig in backhand set wide. Lincolns dodge a massive bullet. And now maybe one more chance for Lee. Takes a peek at the clock. Four seconds in offside. Oh, look out after the whistle. As a late hit's going to create a scrum, everybody hops in. Burkett and Spagnolo tied up outside of it. There goes Benson Moore and Jaden Lee and the two of them. Benson Moore right back in after it as Livermore gives him a shove. And they'll settle things down here at the end of the second period with 3.7 seconds to go. Sykes alumni in the building here as we get set for a big time third period tied at two between Listowel and St. Mary's as we head to the third. Vortman forces the turnover up top. Here's Bart to drive. Loose puck dribbles to the side of the goal. Near side. Here's Collins. Fires. Grimes the save. Loose puck in behind the net. Bang it away at it down low. It'll be picked up by Coombs. He can't clear the zone. Sigmund slings it. Lee Collins skating in. Score! Maddox Collins wanted time to pick one. And the Lincolns, for the first time in this hockey game, take the lead with 11.07 to go on the power play. Collins comes through. St. Mary's goes up, 3-2. Tanner Deets skating it on the near hash mark. McRobbie holds, can't get a shot off. Back to the point in Uring. Uring up top, Deets. Near side wall. High slot, Alexander tipped on goal. Loose puck out front, score! Pandemonium and let's do all. Welcome back, Wiley. He's got two, and we are once again tied in game five. Montesi works it down below as without a stick, Benson Moore on the back end, and Listowel will get it down the ice. Could be a jump. McNeven has a man in the net, flips it out front, Smith, and Abbott got a piece of it. Moore around to the far side boards. Yurig has Luke with him. Here are the Urig brothers into the zone, tied up. Bogart goes in hard on Urig. Play continues. No call down in the corner. 
As that puck will be lifted up, but not out. Scott settles, fires off the post. Burkett, near side, Vader walks in, fires, Abbott to save. And it'll be played off the glass, but Vader holds. He'll throw it toward the net, Abbott another save, and Montese will knock it down. We saw overtime here at the Kerr in game three. Collins steps through, fires on Grimes with 35 ticks even, hangs on for a faceoff. Numbers back the other way now. Spagnolo to Lee from his knees. No, Livermore shot. Grimes the save. Livermore again out front. Grimes fights it off. Burkett has Mason Urig in on the near side. Urig high slot. He'll spin back with it up top. Burkett fires. Burkett glove down by Abbott. And he'll hang on for a face off. Bouncing puck. Here they go, could be a two on one. Smith across, what a play by Vandenbrink again. As he breaks up the two on one, more a shot, Abbott to save. Vader for the Sykes, hits Luke Urig in stride for Wiley Burkett. Burkett to the middle for Urig, back across, across. Oh, Abbott, the save of his life. Shuts it down on the far post. And the Lincoln season will continue for now. McRobbie, near side, busting in, still has the puck. Wrap around, across, side, score! Jack O'Donnell, overtime winner! Listowel is your 2023-24 Sutherland Cup champions. Jack O'Donnell, you'll never score a bigger goal in your life. And Listowel blows the roof off the curb. The Cyclones, for the first time, since 2018 have brought a Sutherland Cup home to Listowel. I couldn't have like gotten, you know, whatever, any of the goals, points, doesn't matter without my line mates, without my the defense to pass me the puck. Like it's a, it's a team effort, like you said. Um, obviously it feels great to get that award, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just uh, kind of on the shoulders of all these boys that have helped me along the way and um, yeah, I mean oh uh, yeah, unreal, I don't know.
can't really put it into words. I mean, we worked for this all year, and we had one goal in mind, and we had an opportunity to achieve it tonight. And we had a good start, and then I think we got a little too comfy. They uh, they caught up to us there, and we knew we had to come out for a really good third, and then send it to overtime. And at that point, it's one shot, one goal, game's over. And you know, luckily for me, my line mates are so amazing. I just go out there, and they do some work, and next thing you know, the puck's sitting there in the crease. All I gotta do is put it in. So. Honestly, it's, it's, it's amazing to do it with these group of guys. You know, we, we had a saying in the dressing room, win today, walk together forever. And now that we get to do that, and our, our names will be together forever on a, on a plaque and on a trophy, it's just, it's awesome. I didn't even really see it cross the line. I just saw Rob just jump on me, so I kind of figured it went in. I was about to change, just like just about to get in the door, and I saw Puck go in, threw my stuff, and just tackled him. It was unreal. So good for him. He's been such a warrior all year. Guy's a goal scorer, and that's what he does. It was great. Yeah, honestly, like you said, about blacking out, it's coming to a little bit now, but yeah, it's a pretty surreal feeling. What makes this group so unique? What makes it so special, Luke? I honestly think, like, for the most part, like we've pretty much grown up together. Like I've known a lot of these guys my entire life. Like me and me and Rob just got a picture together there. Like we've we played Mike together in Mount Forest, and. Like here we are here, so I think that's one thing that makes us unique is definitely the, uh, you know, the closeness of our group and um, how much we like each other. I know it sounds cliche, but it really is like the best group of guys I've ever played hockey with, and you don't get this far on uh, on anything but that, right? Sticking together and yeah, just working and working for the guy beside you. Like honestly, it's unreal. Well, I mean, I was on the ice and I saw the puck kind of sitting out in front there and. Jack, like, just I was like, please just put it in the back of the net. So I was at the point where I just couldn't even move. And I was just so excited when that went in, and I was like, the emotions were through the roof. And to win it at home like that, it's it's special. We're brothers. Like, we spent every minute of every day together when we, when we weren't at the rink. So it just made it easy coming to the rink. And we were a tight-knit group, and we knew what we had to do, and we trusted each other, and we came out on top. I have no words for it. It is incredible. Long season coming to that. Oh, man. Awesome. When you saw Jack O'Donnell put the puck in the net in overtime, what happens in your head? <laughs> Nothing. Couldn't get my bucket off. I'm just trying to get there with the boys, have some fun. It's just, it really is the most resilient group of guys I've ever played with. Toughest, baddest MFers I've ever played with in my life. What a group. Like, from here on Perth, great Bruce. I bet you that's 90% of the team. And the guys we welcomed in, they've been awesome. And I mean, to get it done with them, it's, an, it's unbelievable. Like, words can't describe it. I'm speechless there, and I mean, you know, we've worked, I don't know how many years to get here, and, you know, it just feels so good. Um, you know, proud of the guys, proud of this organization, proud of this town, all our fans sticking with us, and, you know, we're the Southern Cup champs. This town's awesome. They've been getting up from us from the start, and I know the last couple of years have been tough, and I know I came in here on the up end of things, and just a tight group, tight core in here, and they're brothers, and I wouldn't want to go to war with anyone else. To score two goals in your return to the lineup tonight, you set the tone early, obviously two huge goals. What did that mean to you to contribute the way that you did tonight, Wiley? I know what, I had a couple days off. I would made the most of it, and I know I haven't been producing a whole lot, but that just speaks to our team. The depth, the core, and everywhere, one through 13, one through eight, one through two. We're just a hell of a group here, and if someone's falling down, another guy's stepping up. Honestly, words can't describe it. It's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm speechless. You know, it's a cliche, but it's true. You know, you never really think too, uh, too much about it until it happens, and no words can describe the moment and the feeling, especially with this group of guys and the love we all have for each other and the support. And, you know, I think, the biggest thing is just how uh, even keel we stayed throughout the whole playoffs. You know, we had guys in and out of the lineup, faced a lot of adversity this series with Berkey being out and Shimmy coming in. I love that guy too. Coming in and playing a huge role in our two wins. And then, uh, you know, Kersey having to come in for uh, mids and he scores. And, you know, it's just a lot of unsung heroes on this team. And I think at the end of the day, uh, it's a no better, no better group to win this with and share this with forever. And we didn't even talk about Jack O'Donnell, the OT hero. Uh, yeah, Jodes, I, you know, I played with him when I was 16 in Elmira, and I've played with him every year since, and uh, he's a hell of a guy. You know, he works hard, and, uh, like, he was a bit, of, a little bit snake-bitten compared to the year he's had, and just so glad to see that puck go in for him, and, yeah, it was, uh, 
blacked out there for a second, but <laughs> I've come to now, so it's good. It's pretty amazing. I've been thinking about it for, I don't know, last seven years since I saw the older guys do it. It's pretty sweet. It's unreal to do with guys I've played with my whole life, and it's, I don't know, it's a little emotional talking about it, so it's pretty awesome. What do you want to say about Chet Hudson, Tanner? The heart of this team. The heart of this team. You know, this guy's battled through injuries all year long. Um, you know, we wouldn't win without him. And, you know, I love him so much. What do you want to say about Tanner Dietz? Guy shows up in the biggest moments. Uh, legacy game, I like to say, in the Cherry Cup Finals. Scoring three goals. And he did that all year for us. Unreal. And joining us now also is Ben McRobbie. We're just having a group interview here. Uh, this is what for you, Ben, to win this on this night in front of these people in this town. This is sick. I mean, you can't get much better than this. I freaking love every one of these guys. A quick comment on Chet Hudson, then Tanner Dietz. Uh, both nail guns. Uh, they're pretty sick. And we've freaking played together for, what, eight years? And I love them both, so can't get better than that. I also appreciate you not swearing on 519. You were thinking about it, Ben. Uh, it was coming, and I retracted, so you're welcome. Chet, a comment on Ben. I don't know. I played with him my whole life, and maybe the silkiest guy with the puck I've ever seen. I'd never tell that guy what to do in a shootout, that's for sure. So. Same thing to you, Tanner. What can you say about McRobbie? I mean, I know where he is at all times. Um, we've played together for a long time. Probably the most sportsmanlike player in the whole league, if you ask me. And you know, just plays the right way every night, and you know, it's pure goal score. I'm at a loss for words, honestly. I mean, this group, we're a family. I'm gonna remember these guys for the rest of my life. I'm gonna remember this game for the rest of my life. What a season, and a way to cap it off like that in overtime. That's what you dream of, right? I'm so happy for Joel, and I can't, I'm so happy for our team, too. Like, I was here in 2018 when they did this, and like, back then, if I were to imagine that I was able to do that, it's a dream come true, honestly. And this crowd, it was awesome. I mean, all these people in here, and the core of us, the Glisty Six, it means the world to us. Feels like half the town's on the ice with us right now. It's special, you know. Gonna be uh, remembered forever. Uh, just in the town of Listowel and everything, it's awesome, especially doing it with my brother. And glad the boys could uh, finish her off tonight for us. And that uh, yeah, was awesome. Uh, I just loved it, all these boys. Like, we're a family around here. And it was great to do it on Mother's Day with the Panamamas yeah, and my sure. brother. <laughs> I've been on a few teams in my junior career so far, and this is by far the most welcoming team as I came in in November. Most tight-knit group. We're like a family here. I honestly don't know if I'll ever find a team that's connected and this, like, put together. Every line is put together perfectly. We have our enforcer line. We have our scoring line. We have our grind line. We have everything, top to bottom. Organization, coaching. Co I've never seen a coach put in more commitment than Jesse Cole in my life. It's outstanding, and it's kind of shocking. You won't find a coach like him, to be honest. And then Holds, Holden and then Izzy, like two intense coaches, perfect at what they do. They know what they're doing, and they know when to fire us up and cool us down, and they know exactly how to do it. It's just truly amazing. You know, Cherry's, <laughs> the Cherry's one thing, but, you know, we all had it in the back of our minds that this other one was the end goal, and just to make it happen, it's unreal. So the crowd, it, they, we couldn't have done it without them. They're amazing. It's awesome. We're so tight. You know, everyone is so tight, it's awesome. You know, anyone can step up on any night. We're four lines deep, 23 guys deep, it's awesome. I'll remember all these guys forever. This is the, like, seriously the greatest team I've ever been a part of. I love every single one of these guys, man. They made my life easy, you know? They all bought into the defensive structure. Every single one of them, I love these guys so much, and I'll miss them, I really will. A little bit emotional? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's you know, it's, it's hitting me now, like, my last game of junior, but I mean, I, I couldn't have asked for it to end it any other way. So I'm grateful for that, I really am. Honestly, I got no words. A uh, bunch of us, probably five or six of us grew up playing Maitland Ice Sharks together. And you know, we'd win championships there, but it's just, it's an unreal feeling winning it all in a junior atmosphere. And uh, I don't know, we're Southie Cup champs together. This group is truly uh, unique, you know. Uh, we're all best friends here. You know, we bicker and argue like we're brothers, because we all are brothers. Um, and truly, like, we overcome everything as a team. We were, uh, we were down 2-0 uh, on Friday night, and the boys rallied back because we knew we, uh, we counted on each other. We had each other's backs, and, you know, good things happened because we, uh, we all trust each other. It feels great. Like, we got so many overagers this year on our team, and they got to celebrate as a champion. That's all it's what it means. Like, Kohler, he's been in his room 
doing everything for the boys this year, like be staying the night some of the times, coming in the dressing room, doing video for four hours, five hours before the game. I really appreciate it. Lenny, Izzy, I really appreciate them giving us all the opportunity to do everything. But like we have seven overagers this year, they get to walk out as a champion. I really appreciate it with all the boys sacrificing their bodies, doing everything for the boys. And tonight it's going to be a night to remember. I, I can't really say much more, but it's really exciting to be a champion this year. Proud for the the 20 year olds. Proud for our, our group. Um, unique group. Uh, very very special group. Uh, tight bond. Um, a lot of these guys have. Uh, played together for a long time. I, I think our old fours I coached from Adam until now in spring hockey and you know Dixon and I were joking earlier we were rookies together my first year as a head coach it was his first year and um, won our first game together and I get to say we won the last together so uh, just just proud happy for the guys happy for the organization in the town it's it's just kind of nice to sit back and take it in. I've always said to them if I'm going to demand you work hard I'll work hard for you and I think there was a mutual respect um, I think I'll finally sleep for a few days now that this is done uh, and enjoy it. But um, yeah, you know, I usually a pretty reserved person, so I'm I'm lost for words. But uh, very, very proud of this group. Very happy. Um, we talked before the game. Our goal, our slogan, all playoffs was to meet at center ice for that championship photo, and um, we accomplished that. And talked that we get to be remembered together forever now with that picture. So uh, something I'll definitely cherish forever, and, and very, very proud of them. You look at guys like Carter and, and Chet and Jordy, uh, always haven't had an easy go here. I mean, Jordy uh, was in out of the lineup for a long time. Um, he stuck it out and um, had a great year for us. Chet, someone who had shoulder surgery, um, I think his shoulder's gone out probably four or five times this year. And we've had some honest talks that uh, you're a 20 year old, I'll give you the respect of you, you can play through it. And he stuck it out. And, um, but that's the culture of this team, um, the local kids, the way they believe in it. I think it, kind of uh, rubs down on everybody else and definitely proud of them um, a great way to send it off for them and um, you know in many ways they're the heart and soul of our group and our organization. Hey, Brooksy was the first one to give me a hug we, we still talk every day um, he's been great for me throughout this um, obviously going through it with him as an assistant coach it's a bit of a different animal now and um, at times a little bit encouraging to, to know he might feel the same frustrations uh, back then and, and you know we're the same that way uh, um, the town itself is phenomenal. We've had umpteen minor hockey teams cancel their practices so we could skate throughout playoffs. And, and I always say to our guys, that's the community's way to feel part of it. And um, they deserve the effort. And we're great with our sponsors, the community, the signs around town. Um, you know, I've always believed that they do it right here for the right reasons and the right support. And um, it definitely plays a part in it. And very proud to be a part of the town and, and the people here. I thought back to my 16 year, you know, when me and Kohler started it together and, you know, there's no coach I would have rather ended it with, you know, like this, like, I mean it when I say Kohler is my favorite head coach I've ever been coached by. Like, you know, he just, he's a great guy. He, he, no one deserves it more than him. This guy lives at the rink, especially in playoffs. I think he had a bed set up in the office, but. I mean, he's, you know, like he's, it's a dream to play as a goalie for his team, you know, the defensive first mindset and structure he builds. And then it comes from every single guy buying into it. You know, we got plenty of skill on our forwards, plenty of goal scorers, but they don't take a back check off. They don't, you know, take a shift off or cheat for offense. And then that decor just, just lights out, you know, phenomenal. I've never been more confident in a decor in my life to play behind. So, yeah, I just, I love every single one of those guys. Like, it's it's unreal. I'm 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 sad it's over. I really am, but I'm happy it ended this way. Dix is obviously somebody I have a lot of respect for. Um, somebody for me that we talked this summer and, and you know um, told him whatever he decided to do this year, I would support him. Um, but would love to have him here. Let's let's end it the right way together. Um, the reason I put the time in I do is because the care I have for guys like him and these players. And, uh, um, you know, it's, it's nice to hear, um, but uh, it's definitely mutual. And um, I'm happy to, we get to say I can be a part of this group and their lives forever for doing this. And, and no one can take that away from us. What's up, guys? Is this a movie? Very, very proud of you guys. Very, very proud of you guys. Um, 
still lost for words. Chet, normally I start my convos with you when I'm angry. Chet, I love you to death, but, but today we're just gonna say, Chet, I love you to death. Thank you. So, do we get to be remembered together forever? Do we get to be remembered together forever? Yeah. And I'm proud to say that with you guys. Congrats, guys. Yeah.